Going over some futures markets, we got S&P's futures trading below that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. Right now, I'm just going over these charts on the hourly chart. NASDAQ, same thing over here. Series are lower highs, so also trading below that 200, having trouble getting up above that 200. Dow futures, also trading below 200 moving average on the hourly chart. Russell 2000. Same thing over here. Now we got a chart that stood out for me, Chipotle Mexican Grill. Right now, this one is already trading below the 200 moving average on the daily chart. On the hourly chart, also trading below the hourly chart 200 moving average. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for a pullback. I found some pullbacks, just ones like this, also over here as well. I'm not saying it's definitely gonna bounce immediately from that level, but I'm planning a pullback that's similar to what this chart has experienced a couple times before. So clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. Also going to do a quick pull with my fib retracements. When I do a pull, I do have a 50% retracement that is stacking over one of the symmetry resistance areas that I just mapped out. So for Chipotle and Mexican Grill, looking for some movement back to the upside. This area to hold Potential error resistance from here, more downside correction. Also want to just go over S&P's ETF, looking great on the daily, but on the hourly, showing weakness, okay? Right now we're still on the hourly, going over to NASDAQ, NASDAQ so so, with a series of lower highs and also lower lows on this one. Diamonds, right now on the hourly chart. On the hourly chart, staying up above that 200, Russell 2000, this one's already been trading below the 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So we got to just take it one day at a time, recognizing that there is some weakness in the markets. And when there's weakness, I want to look for some opportunities, uh, looking for shorting opportunities with charts that are exhibiting weakness already. So this is Chipotle Mexican Grill. Now, if it doesn't start to exhibit this price pattern, if it doesn't start to retrace to my symmetry resistance, potential error resistance, and start selling off, nothing for me to do on these charts. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is 1,000 subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.